Let's take a peek. The Avery Fix did not opt to put a door on the greenhouse. We just slide through the plastic and walk on in. So this is the winter garden. I did not really plant it in time for fall. Hello, Kevin. We have broccoli, Brussels sprouts. The broccoli's coming along pretty nice. Brussels sprouts, there's some spinach, um, a few herbs. There's my little spinach poking up through the green bean holes. Had to work with what I had. I already had these holes and I didn't want to roll up the plastic just yet. We'll do that in March. Something I did get planted in the fall, a few collards. They're doing great. Okra. It's still producing, but it's just tough pods at this point. It's about to have to come out. All of these rows here are lettuce slash weeds. <laughs> They're doing pretty good. We're going to have a lot of lettuce in about two weeks. That'll be great. You can see my tiny little green onions shooting up under the okra. It's one reason I haven't taken this okra out yet because I'll have to take it out stalk by stalk. I'll have to cut it off at the bottom so I don't disturb the roots of the onions. Don't know if that was a great plan, but it's what I did. More spinach. Uh, those last two rows are late lettuce and late cabbage. Here's some of the cabbage that's coming up already. Bless their little hearts. We'll see if it's going to work. Um, I have some snow peas here. Going to climb on those orange strings where my green beans were. And then I planted a late crop of green beans. Um, here in Alabama, we normally plant those in the summer. But I have so many friends in Alabama who have planted some in the fall and really say that they are a sweet crop. I didn't get mine in quite early enough. Just like everything else around here, um, it's a learning curve. I brought in, had to dig up a lot of my plants, had to dig up my roses and such to get my front yard um, leveled. But I brought all the plants in here and then I have a few more plants over here. And in these big black bins, I have garlic around the outside, which looks like it's gotten a little unplanted. I'll push that back down in there. I have some carrots. Let's see, these are scarlet nantes coming up. My soil is not great in the greenhouse. That's why I put those in a bucket. And this is more scarlet nantes carrots. This bucket is not doing as well. These are some Detroit beets. We don't eat a lot of beets, but I do enjoy pickling beets and roasting beets. We might take a few bites of those. And then this is garlic, regular garlic. The other garlic on the other side is elephant garlic, the big elephant garlic, because these carrots didn't come up at all. They were atomic reds and just never saw anything from those. So. That's the greenhouse tour. I love it. I'm usually the only one out here. It's nice and quiet. In the winter time, it is warm. And uh, it's kind of my little sanctuary. Let's go take a look at the yard. So take a look at this. We have a yard. No more stumps, no more roots. We have a nice sloping yard that diverts the water down to where it should go. Cut down a few trees. We'll chop those up for firewood when time allows. I've put some landscape fabric here. I'm going to build a little rock wall. Um, mostly for decoration. 
but it is kind of a ditch that pushes everything that way. Didn't have to disturb any of these plants. Everything I dug up from the house, I put in pots in its own soil in the greenhouse. And then over here, where this kind of cascades in a mess of roots, I'm going to fix that into a dry creek bed. And then they dug me a little trench that goes around the house. Because eventually, we will divert all this water around here my husband was digging really deep trying to find the water line so that we don't accidentally puncture that but it'll go around here and um it'll go right down to what i hope to be a little pond in that area there because i have this cascade of boulders in the back of the house that from the moment I saw them when we came to look at the house, I thought these are going to make a great waterfall into a little pond. So I'm trying to figure out how to get the pigs on that. I think I can get them to start digging that out. If I will dig a hole and water starts catching in there, I think they'll start digging that out for me. But these are the boulders. And I just think it would be so great to have a waterfall cascading and sit on my deck. Yes, we see you, Johnny, and we love you. So, that's the latest project. Of course, it wouldn't be a video here without a quick look at a few pigs. Hey. Hey, Gingy. <laughs> Yeah, y'all had to be separated, didn't you? Because of you, pig. You're mean. You're a mean pig. And you have one week and two days until your worst day ever. So there we go. Like, share, yeah. Hands are a little beat up. Like, share, subscribe.